Welcome one and all to Dwarfs! I know it's on Steam the other week that it has gone free to play, so I thought I'd do a video for you guys because I brought this game uh, when it first came out and it's on the 10% off offer if you pre-order, which is only like 80p. But, <laughs> but still, I had a sandwich with 80p. So in the free to play base model, you're gonna have um this isn't the free to play, I'll tell you I'm gonna through what you get if you do pay some more, and I never noticed this Facebook thing before. And normally I hate social network interaction interaction with games. It's one of the things I'm like, fuck off. Doesn't really fit, but I do like the dwarf. See how happy that fucker is. But I'm not gonna bother doing all that now. I guess in the free to play model, uh, model, you're gonna have the arcade. Then you're gonna get up to easy and normal. There's a difficulty pack, I believe, for 99p. It's the thing that I didn't actually write down to tell you the prices of them, so I'm gonna quickly do that, so bear with me one second. Apologies. And I'm back. Yes, uh, it's actually £1.99 to have more, or to have hard and teddy hardcore. Quite an odd name, or if you're American Ted I. <laughs> okay, this is the um, game mode. I'm gonna click on 15 minutes just to show you. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I still actually remember the controls. I realized I haven't played this game in a short while. I did do a video of this um, ages back. Zoom out, this is pretty much your whole expansive map for you to explore. And there are always troubles and dangers going around, and since this is free, I would definitely recommend getting this. At least gone that way anyway, yeah. The general idea of the goal is for you to gather up as much money and resources as you can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to gather up a lot of uh, resources and money, kind of, um, Thing. They're just trying to do better each time. And try and make a really expansive, I guess, network. Oh, stoof. Let me send you up that way because I'm gonna blow up here. As you see, we have hit water. I don't, I don't upgrade. I want you to blow up. There you go. He's now sacrificing himself, so they can't munch through that wall to break open the water. You also do have lava. Now lava's a little bit more tricky. Lava's like shit. I have to act. No, don't, don't fight, don't. Okay, you put a sound to a goblin, you'll die like a man, my fellow dwarf. Normally, you want to do this properly, and uh, because every square is like, uh, yeah, every square is a coin. <coughs> Pardon me, I need to cough. So you want to go and treat this a little bit properly just to try and save a bit of dosh. Enemy minions! That's fine, we have warrior dwarfs. Cool called for beer! I don't even know what it does. It'll be AO. Ah, oh, we found treasure. Also, there's um, some of these dark areas where you will hold minions, water, lava, or treasure. And treasure's the one you definitely want to get. Hopefully, I'll give you enough to buck off this. As you can see, it grays out safe. You're safe, dude. Don't worry about it. It does get a little bit more headache later on as you can see. I'll show you a few more of the general things you can do. As you can see, we've got shift to place down a wall. That will stop things like wall, sir. I don't, I don't want you to die, really. You do have a dwarf death count, I believe. When he gets to a certain number, that's game over. And also, you have a time limit on this mode, which is in the top right. As I said, down here you have um, shift, place down walls, controls, solid. Like makes all solid, like you got here, you got here. So dwarfs can't run through them, therefore I've unleashed in more waves of water or li or liquid or lava. Also, you have this one here. I'll place it down here just to uh, show you. On this game mode, it does automatically spread it out for you if you got enough room just for the standard thing itself. But to be fair. I don't really need it. No wait, you do need it, I don't know what's saying. But another game mode is I think it's on um Dark game mode. 
that you actually have to create the surface area itself or else it just kind of won't work. Kind of cool thing about this, say if um, one of my doors over here, this guy here, this guy here, this guy here, he winds down and boom, it was goblins. Don't know why I did that. You click on this, you have a big area of basically shooting. You go, I'll save you, motherfucker, and just shoot your dwarfs to fight the minions. And obviously, if you go back onto it and you click um, wrong button, that one, it'll recall them. This one here upgrades and we'll see they go up levels and be much more efficient in combat with health and damage upgrades, quite standard in that sense. S, go forward fast time. Space, if things happen like crazy, like lava's coming out of here, war is coming up here, you hit space, time slows down a little bit. Obviously W, W's for dynamite, which you can use to block off um, the walls. Good thing about that, if lava's going into it, it'll go down into that. It won't like overflow and go, so it kind of stops lava blocks walls there, stops dwarfs from mining through certain areas, so um, this game later on gets really hectic, as some of you might imagine, it'll be pretty sweet. Um, I've never actually used Q before, I think that's just to dismantle stuff, or cancel order, something like that. So I'm going to back out of this through the main menu, and see with, hard, with um, higher difficulties, not harder difficulties, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a lot more fun, but at the same time, for 199, definitely see how much you enjoy the game first. Get used to a normal. You will have the campaign as well, the tutorial, and you got these challenging lists, which I haven't done. I've only done two battle on normal. I don't know. I've only lost two or less warriors, which uh, I actually got a lot of gameplay out of this, and I haven't done anything yet with the uh, with the campaign. Tutorial is pretty basic, kind of uh, runs through what I just sort of talked about then. Also, on the free to play version, you don't get this skirmish over here. That's the exit if you want to swim away. Skirmish inside of it has, as you can see, um, four game, no, five game modes. I forgot Carnival got added in. Carnival is like a mini game where you just throw, uh, I just said, uh, the top there, you just throw axes. So like these shoot the duck things you get in real carnivals. And with the skirmish pack you do get this is for £1.99, which is worth it, especially since the game is now free to play in itself, but if you want the complete edition like this, eight pound eight pounds of cash. And then send that you can buy the free to play version. Yeah, you can get everything for about six pound ninety eight. Six pound ninety seven. Or you can buy the complete version for £7.99. There's got to be something missing in that equation, but you can still save yourself like a quid. But anyway, uh, in the skirmish pack, you're going to get sandbox, you're going to get rush, and you're going to get dark mode. Which means you're going to have endless and carnival. Endless is what you um, would you would assume as it says up there. After you have no time limit, basically. It's what I just showed down arcade, but it lasts until you die, or until you've done everything. So that's, um, or until you get bored, which I have not yet done. I normally die before I get bored. <laughs> Sandbox is, um, really good. It kind of makes it, um, the game completely endless. Because you basically make your own. Cancel, but I know why I run up the settings. You kind of make your own whole map. I mean, you got this massive, I say massive, really, really, really big canvas to work with, and I have no idea how I can get back to what would be considered home. Oh, there it is. So, and so you can make really elaborate, crazy, crazy, um, Maps. What does that do? Oh, that's big thing. Then you can start off, you know, like, it's gonna be a short walk here. I don't know why I'll mess it up a little bit. This is obviously in serious. And over here, it's gonna be a big area. I have a few, uh. Can you put down the solid rocks? Is that just normal? Is this normal? Okay. And over here in the minions, I'm gonna have a few skeletons down here. And also, I'm gonna have a big boss. Is going to be patrolling the land. And if you want to over here, 
you have to mine your way over here, of course. There's going to be a small dwarven base. Actually, yeah, let's have a few of these guys and a few of these guys. Those guys themselves can beat the shit out of them, but uh, this is just an example. And also, you got a few, um, a couple miners starting off down here. They'll find their way around eventually. You know, a bit more of a landscape and go down. As you can see, this is really um, fancy and etiquette of me. Suddenly, water! Hey, that's it. No wrong button. I'm gonna split half or half lava. If the water doesn't just flood the whole surrounding area beforehand, it should create those um, solid rocks. I've got the onyx. I can't remember what it's actually called. I don't think it does in this game, I think it just there's the remains of those smoke clouds, I'm not totally sure on that one. <laughs> oh, I can do it, can do it, can do it, put in, put in the shaman, put in the shaman, shaman! And also if you want to be just actually a bit of a dick, I'm going to do this. Big empty area. Big empty area. Put a fucking sheet up down a few times. I used to do this on um Gary's mod. Yeah, G mod. When you just have a crap ton of combine, a crap ton of pretty much everything. You break down a wall. And then you just let fighting happen. I'm gonna flood the air of goblins because that's what happens. Oh god, they broke through the wall, I didn't mean that to happen. Didn't mean for that to happen either. But then uh, I'll see if I started that off properly. Create big ass fights, and as I said, a dwarf has. Decided to open this area, but that's enough of this mode. You kind of get the gist of that. Go fun kind of pits um unlimited replay into the game if you're really into um a sort of dungeon building whole segment of the land of the land. Rush mode, as you probably think, rush mode is actually incredibly fun. It's just stupid because your dwarfs just multiply like freaking crazy. Like, that's gonna be war, and it's gonna, yep, look at that, I told you, look at that game over already. Fuck it, I ain't gonna be able to win that. <laughs> that's rush mode, everybody! Uh, I'm not gonna pay up my name, that's not even a good score. Right, let's try and show you a bit more. <laughs> so normally, doors come out, say, every, um. Let's say every 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds, every minute. And this one, as you can see, miners just come out continuously. And it gets really, really freaking headache at times. I'm so glad that none of that was water or lava. <laughs> and then um, the hardest thing is probably just find the minerals to try and block everything off. I'll pull you back in a while you disappeared. I mean, you could be incredibly lucky in this witch. Ah, oh, shit, son. Shit, son. Shit, son. Shit, son. Oh god, build bombs. Why did you do this, dwarfs? Why would you do this to me? I was your father. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. What are you doing, you bastard? <laughs> oh shit, when did that happen? <laughs> Blast rush mode. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that go anymore. I swipe for one minute and five seconds. <laughs> Look around at my wonderful expansion of mines. And also the other one is dark mode, I believe. I said dark mode, really English. Dark. Oh. Except for free to play, you can't go wrong with this game. Welcome to dark mode. The guy gives you like a brief... Like, it's a, it's a different set of rules than this one. As, um... You can go for, as you would assume, dark mode means... It's dark. The only thing you could ever see is what you're ready um, mine, and slight glistens, as you can see over here and over here, or where mineral patches are. 
you would think that's somewhat useful, but yeah, I would agree. It's pretty useful. We found treasure. That again is useful. And money! Things are a little bit more expensive. And it's harder to kind of find money because it's so dark. That's one bad thing with fast forwarding everything. You have to be a lot more uh, careful in this one because I don't trust doors. I kind of blew him up by accident, but on the plus side, there's a wall now. Block him. So you see, these now cost 25 extra minerals, so you actually have to lay them out properly. Plus, you can only put them where you can actually see. No, I can't like block off this area here. I can only block off in here if I had enough dodge. Why? Why would you? Nope, nope, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong button! I don't have enough money for a wall and that's game over. So that's. <laughs> that's the gist of dark mode. <laughs> oh, that was awful. I think I did do quite well in my other video on this mode. I say that, I probably really did not. And, um. Oh, you also get base defense. Is base defense, um. with the core game? I'm gonna have a quick look at that one second, sorry. Alright, I just looked, and no it isn't, that's actually in a separate DLC, it only listed free on the main scene page itself, but they're actually more underneath it, which was you actually had to pay for Carnival mode, which was, um, it's 99p, I mean, I'll, I'll show you it briefly, it's kind of fun to do, um, I, I, I get the gist of that. Okay, cool, it's not letting me move though. Alright, okay, we're, we're good again. And this is basically just gonna just keep timing it, hit dudes in the face of axes, get points. I'm gonna hit that rock, am I? Yep. By rock, I mean log. I don't know why I threw that. But that is the gist of um, this game mode. I mean, it is. It, it's, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's, it's definitely not like this is thick, disgusting kind of thing. But um, this came out free if you got the main edition. And with that being an extra 99p. That's gonna boost the price up to seven pounds something. I accidentally quit the game when I click exit there, but I'm not very good with math. That came out to about seven, uh, seven pound. Can't remember what it was now. Like seven pound, I know, like ninety four or sixty eight, something like that. And then if you have to pay for base defense, it's actually one pound ninety nine. It is a lot, ch well, it's about a quid cheaper. But in all fairness, you may not want, you know, rush, you may not want dark mode. I mean, you may do one day in the future. That's probably why it's a little bit more expensive, to kind of monetize your money a little bit more. So I'm going to show you base defense, which is £1.99. I think this is the one that actually made me, um, play the game a lot more. I mean, I probably played this more than actual dwarfs itself. And as you can say, it's for a power, a, a power, a tower defense game, um, <laughs> it's pretty much the same as any other tower defense game you've ever played. But I guess what this one makes it a little bit better is um you get to make your own like map in a sense around it. I mean I think I spent a little bit more money than I should have done on actually building these things. Let this finalize that. Just show you the uh, the general gist of what the hell happens. I just had a fence right. Okay, I'm gonna run through it. You got um, th that's like the heavy hitter fit. That's enough. You're gonna need that to take down really big, strong boss enemies. This is the area of effect high up one. Also, you can upgrade these further if you click on them. Upgrade, there you go, it's now a bit more damage, you can shoot a little bit more. The spider slows them down, it's set like a web, and in that area they slow down. I think I've once, you can up, they do, um, they do overlap, so if you have multiple next to each other, they do combine, which is very useful. The Lich Tower, I don't actually remember, slowly draining monsters nearby, okay. As you would assume, it's sort of like a, um, I'm going to call it Parasite Tower, where it's slowly taking down their life, opposed to just doing like the hit. So it's doing the damage directly, opposed to waiting for the missile to hit. Which, in all fairness, doesn't really do too much. Flame is one of those ones which he shoots up. They only shoot up, down, left, and right. 
and they go off like a certain time. Same with the spikes, but the spikes is very useful to detect hidden enemies, and I believe, um, does it slow them down a little bit? No, it just damages and detects stealth units, which is incredibly useful later on. I'm going to throw that now. And obviously upgrading it will be uh, more beneficial. You come into your really just weaker, fast fire ray kind of shit tower, and your standard arrow tower, which um, I don't really have to go into detail over. Alright, and also now four powers come out. I do kind of, uh, I don't want to quite cheat him, but I do kind of cheat, cheat a little bit. Well, actually, no, I don't do that. Oh, I waste money. Okay, I have to earn it. By um, pretty much linking it all together. So I have this one area as a big death camp, and make um, make them all sort of channel through. Slightly um, not the most beneficial way of doing it, but I have managed to go really high up on the scale before, which I was quite pleased at. And so I do wait. You can, well, you can wait until they get to the majority of the distance that you want. I don't really want to put down a hard tower quite yet. Obviously the um, area effect does increase as you upgrade. You bomb my- ah, I don't link. Link down there. And I still got 400 left which means I'm going to build Hmm. Just gonna build it here. Yeah, I should have had it kind of in range of something I can actually detect. So I'm gonna need that later on for derp 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 derp. Again. Oh yeah, it should be more better to have that closer to here while in range of. So when the invisible enemies come, you detect them and take them out quite easy. I'm the standard base defense game really, but they're addictive, as I'd assume a few of you would know. So we're starting to get a little bit um heavy hitting enemies now. There you go, he's now on the very similar levels. Well, I do not actually have to upgrade these. Um, the second to last one is probably the best one for this because the last upgrade sinks a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money into it. I don't know if they changed it recently. Like, can you build walls? Where are the invisible enemies? That's still walls. I did not know that. That would have saved me a lot in the past. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's awesome. And you can solidate walls as well to stop um, the miners from making all these weird... Alright, I just added a newfound depth to my game. And I am liking it. That is the second to highest, the one after that goes gold. Kinda pointless, that is probably the best one. Because, how much does it cost? 300. With 300 I can get your spider, I can upgrade this further. I'm 100 away from getting another one. Yes. Kind of no need. How much does that wall cost? I'm gonna place that. I got two, three, two. Cost 75. Okay. Bring down. Oh crap. Right. This could be a failure for me because I don't really have anything. <laughs> Take that as you would like. I quickly knock that down. Oh, he just walked through it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! That was lucky. <laughs> really was. Jesus. Alright, I'm going to place down uh, one of these, just to slow him down in this general area. If we can get only goes up to 30%, I don't know, 
50% slower. I did throw that down, I got that kind of block in the way. I'm really uh, 40%, 40%, yeah. So if you gank them up, say 2 is obviously going to be off, you upgrade at 80%, 120, so forth, so forth. I don't really want to upgrade that any further, bro. If I get 250, I can upgrade that again to. Boom, that guy. I should kind of wrap up video really, but just playing this. I will finish this off there. I will kinda say what I'm gonna say now. Uh this has been dwarfs. Um the skirmish being one ninety nine, the difficulty setting being one ninety nine, uh endless mode ninety nine P. This game mode is one ninety nine and the carnival game mode is ninety nine P. I mean you can kind of pick and choose what you want with the base game being free to play, no way can you lose. That's I'll, I'll definitely just saying at least try it. I mean, it's not a big game, as you can see. It's not very demanding. It's going to take no time to download, nor will it burst your bank in any way. Or burst your bank, burst your uh, PC. You know, it's probably not going to burst your bank in three. So definitely just get it. I mean, if you don't like it, that's it. I mean, it's like 500 megs or something, I'm not too sure. I mean, they've had a lot of content in free since I first originally paid for the game when it released like the carnival mode and the odd little thing. Uh, the whole core cool package is £7.99 still I believe on Steam. In Euros that will probably be about eleven euro roughly. I'm not too I don't have an official thing in front of me. But you kinda get the idea of premise how much these things can kinda cost. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. This has been um a little bit informative, just a little thing so you guys yourself can see it. I believe this is on max out settings. I've never actually decided to stop and look properly. Yeah. I mean, you got these little things. Colorblind settings. I mean, if you're going to get a one ending on Mass Effect 3, colorblind settings would be useful in that game, right? <sighs> oh, I kind of finish my work sometimes without laughing to myself. I'm kind of running out of things to say now. I'm going to carry on this for people who are interested. If you just want to see it because it is force free to play, then that is cool. For people who want to stay and watch this, believe me now, this is nowhere near the best way to show you this game. Well, this game mode, because I'm pretty, pretty fucking awful. I've been Carpus. I hope you enjoyed for those sticking around. Hope you enjoyed further. Obviously, we'll and this has been Dwarfs! Alright. I'm gonna get another area of defense here. I heard it. I'm building it. I'm building it. Oh, you can just walk through, can you? Ah, but my shit got him. My shit got him. Don't you worry, brothers. Oh, that's upgraded. Alright, sword. As you can see, this one here is definitely the heavy here. That takes down health a lot quicker than these ones. Which is uh, very useful for these types of enemies and other bosses. Fact. I'm kind of debating now what to throw on. Vegetables is green stuff in Swedish. This thing also teaches you Swedish. I mean, it's not real. I, I assume it's not real anyway. <laughs> oh. Go. German. 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 I will get another um aerial defense. Nobody here so it's gonna shoot down there, no see if they do slip past. I have some cover from it. Oh god, oh god, um, I need 200, I need 200 coins, I need 200 coins now! Okay, they get shown anyway when they're doing damage. Woo! I'll put 
pro, they should kill them. Flash down a thing. Come on. Come on. Okay, that did a lot of damage to me. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that did damage. That did. That did disgusting damage. So I'm gonna build a wall there, which they're gonna just walk through with the east. Ah, uh, I forgot that they were suicides. They don't do much damage, but as you can see, there are a lot of them at times. Yay, one gate! It's kind of like a. a br I'm gonna call it a breather round. They get they take a pity on me right now. But I don't blame them. I'm putting one there because there are invisible ladies coming. I'm, I don't mean that in a devious or sexual way. I just mean they're coming. Alright. I mean, there's been no massive problem with this kind of thing attacking us right now. You keep laying that down there. I didn't know that I could have these walls. As you can probably tell, I'm like, wow, it works so well. So that's going to try and get me a little bit more dosh. In the meantime, I'm going to get another one of these. Oh. Asshole. Asshole. This guy's an asshole. Hopefully that upgrade can take these down quite easy. If they come up in multiples like this, I am getting slightly worried. And by slightly worried, I'm getting worried. I can't kill these. I can't kill these. Not at all. Not, not at all can I kill these. What? What foul man does this? You! You're being sold on eBay. Build! It does so much damage! I lasted for 30 minutes. I'm gonna say 40, not 2 seconds away. 40 minutes I lasted. Corpus of an O. I am Coropos. Like an octopus with a beard. <laughs> this has been endorsed. If you carried on watching, I thank you. It wasn't really the best of things to watch. Also, you have a codex. The codex comes free. I believe this is just it hits intense. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna leave on that dwarf dancing. Now dwarfs know how to shake their thing, man. I'll show you another dwarf dance. It's gonna do a cut now to a dwarven dance of. I suck and bothered. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? It takes a lot of learning. So I'm good about to go into Lotro. But watch this dwarven dance. Back in a moment. I hope you enjoy dwarfs with an um, exclamation mark and a question mark. Dance, little man. Dance. <laughs> 